Well, last night was round one of the 2020 NFL Draft. Of course, Joe Burrow was chosen first overall, as expected, returning to his home state to suit up for the Cincinnati Bengals. The New Orleans Saints used their first round selection to draft Caesar Ruiz from the University of Michigan with the 24th overall pick. Here to talk more about that is WWL.com sports columnist and host of the podcast Saints Happy Hour, Ralph Marlboro. Thank you for being back with us. Thank you, Leslie. Okay, so the Saints take a center. Were you surprised with this pick? I, I was a little. Here's the thing about fans and offensive lines drafting them. We hate it because it's boring. It's like somebody, they win the lottery, and then they want to explain to you for 45 minutes how they invested in a mutual fund. It's smart. <laughs> That's a good analogy. It's practical. But it's, 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 it's as exciting as plain white toast. We... All fans, we want a great offensive line. We just don't want our teams to use high draft picks to build one. Especially, yeah, since it's the second year in, the, in a row. But let's talk about what it means for the offensive line. It seems like Larry Warford's now the ma odd man out. Well, that's right. Sean Payton even put him on notice last night after the draft and said, look, Larry Warford's going to have to compete for a job. And the thing is, Leslie, besides the referees in 2018 that cost the Saints a chance at a Super Bowl, the biggest reason the last two years the Saints haven't won the Lombardi Trophy is in the playoffs, their offensive lines have been horrible. It's been a combination of things of poor play and injuries, right? So depth will help them uh, later in the year. And look, the Saints still have Drew Brees. He's still short, even though he's great at 42. And they need interior players. They've always sort of built their team that way and you know it was just it, it's it's just with the saints and offensive line the one thing i will say they do not make mistakes high up they drafted ram tech they drafted jamal brown mm -hmm. uh they drafted eric mccoy last year really the only mistake the saints have made really high up in the draft at offensive line was rick leonard and he was a fourth round pick and he was a head scratcher but besides that yeah, I don't Jamal even know Bushnell. his name. They so, know yeah. what they're doing on the <laughs> offensive line. And even though it doesn't excite us and we want something else that's shiny and flashy as mm -hmm. fans, the Saints have proven a track record. They know what they're doing oh, sure. with the offensive line especially. Yeah, and the past couple of years, Jeff Ireland has just been absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Okay, so tonight's rounds two and three. We don't have a second round selection. And the third round, we have 88th overall. Sean Payton said in his press conference last night, looking at linebackers and wide receivers, and he made no qualms about it. They'll probably trade up. They're going to trade up, uh, Leslie. We should all come to grips emotionally with the fact that Saints 2021 second round pick, that's as good as gone. They're going to package their third round pick, 88 overall. They're going to move back into the second round. They're going to get a player. Uh, two names to keep in mind, Christian Fulton, cornerback from LSU. He uh -huh. fits the, bo Local he fits kid the too. body type the Saints like. And also, I want to throw out a, a kind of crazy name here. Jonathan Taylor, the running back from Wisconsin. No running back, it excites fans usually. Sure. But if the Saints draft a running back, people are like, why? they have Kamara. Why would they do that? Alvin Kamara, last year of his deal. Right. The Saints Not love sure how him. That's gonna go. But are they, gonna, are they gonna wanna pay him? Right. And I have to cut you off there, we're out of time. But anytime you pick a uh, running back from Wisconsin, it's it's a good deal. So thank you so much for being with us. Coming up at eight o'clock on WUPL, we'll talk more Saints with WWL sports reporter right, Ricardo you Lecomte. Too, Angela. Bye. Bye. And guys, make sure you have our app and follow us on social media for updates throughout the day and tomorrow. So today's round two and three, tomorrow four through seven wraps up the draft.